hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be drawing the development of the first room of a square pyramid and we have been given a question which says a square pyramid of base 40 millimeter side okay and axis of 65 millimeter long the length is 65 millimeter long as it's based on the hp that is horizontal plane with two edges of base perpendicular to the vp okay so what this means actually is let's take this paper to be our horizontal and vertical plane this is a vertical plane here yeah? then this is a horizontal plane all right it is in this manner like this okay so they said two edges of the base are perpendicular to the vp that is two edges this is perpendicular okay they said two edges of the base are perpendicular that is our square has to be in this manner this is a square okay it has two edges of the base are perpendicular to the vp this is also a square all right this is also a square in as much as the sides are equal it is a square but this one two edges are not perpendicular to the vp but for this two edges are what are perpendicular that is at angle 90 degree okay so that's that for that and they said it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to the vp inclined at 45 degree to the horizontal plane and bisecting the axis okay now they asked us to draw its sectional top view they asked us to draw the true shape and also draw the development that's three drawings that we have been asked to draw okay so first of all what we are asked to do is to draw the base and we have been given the base side to be of what 40 millimeter so i'm going to be drawing a square of 40 millimeter length okay a square of 40 millimeter so this is point let me label here as point d this point as point c then i'll pick my compass i've actually made a video on how to draw a square if you don't really know how to do that i'll drop the link in the description so you can check that check that out now we are what we are to draw straight vertical line upward then draw straight vertical line upward like this in this manner then join the two together at the top so this is our square okay so now what we are going to do next is to after labeling here as my point a b this is a b c d i'm going to draw join the two the two diagonals together this is a c i'm going to join a c and I'm, I'm also going to join what point bd together okay so they meet at this center i'm going to label that center as my point o okay so now all we are going to be doing next is to draw the front elevation that is the truncated part now i'm going to extend this line bc upward a little bit then extend line ad also upward a little bit in this manner now at any convenient point we are going you are going to have your base your baseline okay you are going to have your baseline which is going to be like x and y okay that's the baseline for the first room that is the front elevation okay now from the center o i'm going to what project a line upward okay very thin line upward in this manner now we have been given the length to be what 65 millimeter long so from this point here this baseline here baseline x y i'm going to pick 65 millimeter length of 65 millimeter okay that's what i'm going to be picking now from this point i'm going to join to this place it's actually going to be in a triangular form okay because a pyramid the side of a pyramid is actually triangle triangular okay so i'll label this apex as point p okay now we have been given another parameter which says it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to the vp inclined at what at 45 degree to the hp now they told us that the cutting plane that is which is going to form the the frost room is what is perpendicular to the vp and inclined at 45 degree so we are going to pick our 45 degree set square then we would draw at 45 degree okay 
we are going to bisect it we have not been given any height actually so we are just going to be making use of any convenient height for us because we have not been given any height right in this question okay so now what we are going to do is to what start with the first question which says draw its sectional top view okay so in order to do that we are going to what project line from this part the part where this truncated line this inclined line is cutting this we are going to draw straight line from those parts okay we are going to do exactly the same to this part so these are the points of the what of the of the plan okay of the section out of view these are the points okay so we can join this together then i'll join these two points together then join these two points together and do exactly also to this place like this in this manner now we can taking out this square okay let's draw the line okay so now what we are going to be doing next is to draw the sectioning of this inner part okay in order to draw the sectioning we have to make sure our section line is not too wide and is not also too fine so that is the main reason why i'm going to be making use of this length here okay the length between this my ruler you can also make use of that okay to draw the sectioning line so that is that for the sectional top view this is sectional top view all right this is the sectional top view now we have also been asked to uh, to draw the true shape okay let's take out this the frustrated part we have been asked to draw the true shape which is what we are going to be doing next okay so in order to draw the true shape we are going to pick our c square which is 45 degrees c square because it is going to be at angle 90 degree now we are going to pick our 45 degrees c square we are drawing perpendicular lines at this point okay so using making use of my ruler okay i'm going to draw in this manner okay perpendicular lines like this then slide it downward to this other part also then i will draw a perpendicular line to this particular line now in order to pick the true shape we are going to pick our compass now let me label here as my point one two three and four to make it easily explainable so from this point here that is this point i will extend my compass to point one okay then place it at this point here and strike an arc then from here also i will extend it to point four okay this is point four here then place it at this point strike an arc like this so this is one and this is four okay so i'll do exactly the same for two and three from here i'll place it at point two to this point strike an arc because this line 2 and 3 is the one that is getting here okay then from here i will extend it to a point 3 okay then place it here also and strike an arc so i can label here as what as point 2 and this point as point 3 now i'm going to join those points together okay i'll join one to two to form the true shape of this frustrum of a square pyramid okay so this also and then this okay so this is the true shape this is the true shape okay so now what we are going to be doing next is to 
jump on the next question which says draw its development okay you are asked to draw the development please please and please if you found value to this point please ensure you smash the subscribe button it's totally free it will help me go a long way thank you for doing that so now in order to draw the development what we are going to do first is to find the what is to find the true length okay and in order to find the true length from point o i'm going to pick my t square then draw a straight line outward in this manner okay then i'll pick my compass place it at point o okay extend it to point c okay from point o i will extend it to point c then draw a curve like this okay i'll draw a curve like this let's extend this a little bit okay so at that point where the curve is touching that line which you have drawn i'm going to project a straight line upward in this manner okay i'll project a straight line upward in this manner now from here i'm going to join it to point p so this line is our true length okay this line is our true length now that is the exact line we are going to be making use of to draw our development now in order to draw our development we are just going to pick a point right here beside this part okay then making use of points from point p the length we are going to be making use of the true length okay the length of the true length that's what we are going to make use of so i'm going to pick my compass place it at point p then to this point here okay so i'll place it at that point here then draw an arc in this manner okay let me label that point as point o prime now from that point o prime i'm going to draw a straight line like this okay now i'm going to pick on my compass any of these sides because this the four sides are equal but for this video i'm going to be using point b and c okay i'm going to pick point b and c okay then place it here strike and arc one two three and four okay so we will label that that's very very necessary label here as point a b c d and a we are labeling it as a b c d and a is because we picked point these four points okay so i'm going to uh, join this to this we are going to be joining from point o prime okay why i used o prime is because we already have a point o here okay so in order to avoid confusion i used o prime for that okay so we are going to be joining these points like this okay so we'll join from point a to point b like this then from point b to point c like this from point c to point d and from point d to point a back okay so if we have been asked to draw just only the development of a square pyramid without being like inclined that is without drawing the frost room this is exactly what we are going to be drawing but now they asked us to what to draw the development of the frost room so that is exactly why in order to draw the development of the frost room we are going to pick our t square we are going to project from this point here to this particular point here like this this is point one and four so let me label here as one comma four okay then from here also we are going to project to this part okay this is two and three so i'm going to mark here point two and point three okay so from point p okay i'm going to extend my compass to point one and point four okay this point here 
okay i'm going to extend my compass to this point now point one and four is on a and d okay so i'm going to be striking an arc a d okay then a also so this is point one this is point four and this is point one okay now we are going to put it as point two and three okay point two and three this is 2 and 3, which is on B and C. So I'm going to place here. This is B and C. Okay. So I'm going to put it as what? This is 2 and 3. Okay. So now we are going to be joining those points also together. To form the development like this. Like this. Then we we'll join this also to this part and join this also to this part like this. Now we can take in this out. So this is the development. Okay. The development is actually is actually you cutting the this part like this. This part is actually a box like this. So if you cut one part that is one edge and open it this is what we are going to get that is what development means okay so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next video peace